Hello everyone, my name is Busisiwe for those who don't know me and this is my channel and for those who are returning subscribers, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome family. I'm still thinking of like a good name for our gang gang family but yo, I can't come up with a name. So if you have a suggestion for this channel, and then you can just drop it down below so that we can have a gang gang family imagine like i call you like something yeah with the name that can be so nice and then to those who are seeing this beautiful authentic face for the first time i just want to say welcome to this channel and please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my videos and so that you can just Get to know your girl in the house. So, I promise consistency. And then, as you can see by this video, this is consistency. This is the video of the week. As I've said, guys, I'm going to try and upload one video every week. I'm still not sure of the day of the week, but then I'm going to try that each and every week. I try and upload a video. So, um... Today's topic, as you can see down below, it's a very deep topic, but yeah, we're going to talk about it. So, people like have been asking me since I've started sharing my journey about being a mother of two boys who are just a year apart and getting pregnant while on prevention and studying. So, people have been asking me to share like my journey and my experience in that regard. So, today, I think it's not going to be possible to just share the journey like in just one video because it's going to be so long so i'm going to cut it like into piece 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 so today we're going to talk about prevention like everything here in this video will be about prevention until i fell pregnant for the second time and then from there we're going to take it to something else to something else to something else until like everything is done so I have my notebook here because I don't want to miss out on anything like I have like subtopics that I want to talk about and everything so I want to make sure that I don't miss out on any information that I want to talk about and yeah I think we can start so first of all I just want to say that growing up as a child like hello L L O not L O and O, we have LBC, which is like abstain, be faithful, or condomize. So, me now growing up as a child, I chose abstain because of my religious belief and because that's what I wanted at that time. So, I was that child who was like, I'm going to abstain, I'm not going to have sex anytime until I'm married. Yeah, that was me. So, um, I grew up, I grew up, and that was just me, until I was older, and then things change, I get to varsity, and then things change, um, goals change, mindset change, and all of that. So, you know, when I arrived at varsity, I stayed with like an older girl I shared a room with like an older sister of mine like I didn't know her but like she was like an older sister of mine because she showed me around the campus she introduced me to first years she like told me everything so she sat down with me and asked me like okay hey BC can you tell me about, about yourself and then I did and she asked me if I was preventing and I was like no I'm not preventing and now nah, I don't believe in prevention so she advised me, we said, girl, this is the city you need to go and prevent. But because I was like, I'm not going to have sex. Like I'm abstaining. The, I didn't see the need to go and, and to go and prevent. But then she did go step by step with me. Like, okay, this is what happens. And then this is where you go and all of that. So didn't entertain her that much. And I just let it go because I wasn't about that life. So I can go, oh, I think I'm a closer, guys. <laughs> Got my first boyfriend, and yeah, things change. So now, in terms of preventing, when even when I, even when I started dating, like dating, 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 
like with my first cause of boyfriend like adversity i still didn't believe in preventing because i was like yo i had like many horror stories about prevention and now i have like abnormal menstruation cycle so i was like if i go there it's going to make it even more abnormal so i don't want to go there so the continuation guys so i was so now from being the abstain group to the group of like i'm going to be saved by god and yeah i'm going to be saved by god and i'm going to condomize that was just me but then okay that was me that was me that was me and then yeah i dated got into relationships and all of those things happened and then i had my first baby so you know um i had my first baby at a public hospital so at the public hospital after giving bed ne, you don't get a choice you have to prevent you have to prevent they will tell you booty you know what if you don't want to prevent it's fine but then you have to prevent so that was like you have to prevent so now they're asking me which method do you want guys i don't even like they don't even explain to you in details booty this is what this is what this is how it's going to work and all of that they just tell you Guti, which method do you want to use do you want to use the three months injection do you want to use two months injection or do you want to use the pure that's all they tell you and then when you will try and be like no i'm still going to do my research what research when you have a baby they will ask you that they will tell you that choose a system so i chose the three months one because first of all i don't like going to the clinic I get the cues at the clinic and yeah, I was just like okay this three months one is fine I will take it so that was June that's it three months so it's July I got September three months and then go back and then get it so the method that I chose was as depot it's known as depot I don't know the full name of it but then it depot guys <laughs> Because even if you can go and check on Google and be like, depot injection, you're going to find it. So, um, depot. So, it depot, you get it every three months. And then, mm -hmm, it's an injection that you get at the, you can get it at the public clinic or you can get it at the private clinic. And then, in public, it's free. And then, I'm not sure how much it is in private hospitals or private clinics but then i know that in public hospitals and public clinics it's for free so you go there you get your injection and then they will tell you Guti, you need to come back on this date all right so i went there then i went back for the second time got it again and then continue with my boyfriend so um it depot depot it's 99 percent effective and then what does that mean it means that one percent of the women using it depot can get pregnant and dude i didn't know that one percent was me because i was like depot then i'm free and like i trusted my boyfriend at the time we were at the age where we were at the stage where like we both trust each other we both get tested together for like stuff like so it was like a matter of like okay you're going to prevent and then if you don't if you don't feel like using a condom today then you can just go like nyama to nyama that's like it so there are advantages and there are side effects of it depot so like i think i'm going to start with the um, advantages because you know, advantages we all want the advantages so the first advantage is that it does not require an action every day unlike pills because pills you have to take them like every day and you have to take them at a specific time for them to be effective that's what i had and that's what i've read on i don't know if like what happens if you don't do it at the same time but then what i know is that you have to take them every day and at the very specific time so with depo you don't have to do that every day you just get your injection three months and then after three months you go back after three months you go back so like that's like 
that's not a lot of admin to do because you just get it now and then we shall enjoy it for three months and then go back so that's like the biggest advantage so you know that for that three months you are safe unlike pills because pills you know so good in that three months are you going to be consistent are you going to lose them are you going to forget them or something so with it therefore there's not like you're going to forget because you have to go there at the clinic and then you go so that's like the biggest advantage for me and for someone who doesn't like going to the clinic that's like the top top notch advantage for me and the second thing is that it decreases menstruation cramps and menstruation pains but then with this one i think it can be both advantage and disadvantage because it de it decreases them because you there's a possibility that you're not going to get your periods just like me i didn't get my periods while on prevention so it means that you won't have menstruation pains you won't have menstruation cramps but that also it means that you won't go on the periods and like guys like honestly speaking if you are a female and you're not going on your periods each and every month it's like there's something missing that corner in to my i don't know if it's just me but then for me i felt like there's something missing something is not right with me like where's the blood going now if it's not coming out because it's supposed to come out each and every month so if it's not coming out then surely there is something wrong that is happening but then it also means that you don't have to buy sanitary pads if you're not going on your period so advantage disadvantage it depends on how you see it but then not buying periods it means that if you're struggling with sanitary pads and then you don't have money when you are on depot you can actually save and then it's less stress about sanitary pads so yeah so i think it depends on how you see it and it depends on like on your situation if you have money to buy pets each and every month then it's fine then like if you don't have money and then you are on depot and then now you start saving it that money that you use for sanitary pets and do something else and the last advantage that i want to talk about is that it's free at the public clinic so you don't have to pay money to do it so you can go to public clinic and then just do it but then guys can we just talk about how rude people are there and like ah, there is no like what's that privacy because everyone can see like let's say you don't want people to see that you are on prevention you get to the clinic and they say okay can we have people for prevention can we have people for pregnancy guys where's your privacy like i call privacy people will be will, like you will just be there and you don't have a choice you have to sit with the people who are there for prevention so let's say oh mama papa election doesn't know your mom doesn't know and then mama papa election is there that means the mama will be like hell but she is preventing chiki chiki she's going to tell mama so you just see you see even if it's free but then you don't have like privacy of some sort whereby you are just like okay no one knows because when you're at the doctor with when you're at the private doctor you just sit there and then you get into a room that is closed and then it's just you and the doctor and you're just like doctor i'm here prevent for prevention and the doctor can give you prevention and that's all but then hamba for your public clinic yo but then it's just me and the public clinics i went to and when on your side then you are just like it doesn't happen to you then good for you but my experience hasn't been that good so but then uh that's what happens in public clinics and can we talk about the disadvantages i think those are like the major advantages like yeah and now for the disadvantage nausea you guys in nausea corner it's like you're pregnant because you get nauseas and headache yo you have the most horrible headache ever like the most horrible headache like every now and then every day 
every day they say you need to drink a lot of water but you know sometimes the water doesn't even help you need to do something extra so yeah it's nausea headache and weight gain you also gain a lot and lot of weight while you're on the prevention and also if you say that okay now you want to stop preventing and you want to be pregnant it takes you about 10 months before you can fall pregnant again so imagine now you meet someone and then you get married and the guy wants the baby so you can't give the baby, the guy the baby because of the prevention also it's not about the guy even if you as a girl wants um to get pregnant you have to wait for 10 months before you can get um pregnant again and what else okay that thing of like it stops you from going on your periods it depends on how you see it again if you think it would see it's a side effect it's a bad side effect then it's a bad side effect then if you think it's an advantage then it's an advantage so it just depends on how you viewing it not going to your periods so guys what happened for me so i went through that then i was home in november so november okay that was the last time when i like i needed to go and do depot for in december but then i was home and my boyfriend is not at home so i didn't see the need so but then i could actually feel my body is changing there yeah? because as a woman you can feel when your body is changing but to now i thought no it's the effect of a depo because yeah so i could like sometimes i would feel hungry very very hungry and sometimes i would feel so full then i'm just like what's happening and then it was yeah yeah corner it was so worse 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 i had like very bad nausea but then like i didn't even think it could be pregnant guys i didn't like there was nothing on my mind that said that girl you are pregnant so because i gave birth in july it means i got pregnant in october so october i didn't know anything november i didn't know anything i started feeling stuff in december december yeah i could feel some stuff but i wasn't even that like stress because i was like no it's the after effect why it's the side effect of it April. january i'm still feeling the same february i'm still feeling the same yo i towards the end of february i'm just like this is just too much like i'm not like this is just extreme for me because now i'm just irritated i'm moody everything is just there and now i'm back with my boyfriend and guys even when i say to him you i'm not feeling well guy will be like ah maybe it's the prevention then we're fine can't it, it wasn't when we went to the clinic to prevent and walk because now i'm back with the guy so i need to prevent so guys the nurse comes and the nurse is like you are pregnant after we took the test but then it wasn't like yo guys no it's impossible because i haven't been with the guy and my boyfriend trusts me so we don't get he doesn't get worked up to go to highball girl what did you do when you're home hey 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 guys okay we, we went there like see pumi pam then i'll be like we're going to buy the most expensive pregnancy test that even shows the date and the month because this is highly impossible and i don't trust those um pregnancy tests we need the most accurate pregnancy tests and we got the that the um, i don't what's the name of that pregnancy test i forgot the name of it but then the one that even shows you the months or the weeks and that thing it was like three weeks plus plus so it was like it dated way back 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 we went to the doctor and the doctor was like you are five months five because it wasn't even end of you know end of november end of february so it's like you are five months and the baby was there kicking inside of me like he was there 
so that's how my last baby boy came in my life and everything from there i think i'm going to share another day with you guys i'm going to share it next week you could see how we took that and how we survived that how i got to accept everything how i yeah i think everything from there i am going to share with you guys um on the next video but then this is just all my experience with depot this is just my experience with depot and guys people you know people make funny comments and be like yo no she didn't do it well oh no una manga and all of that read about prevention and just because of it says 99 percent it doesn't mean that one percent it will be a stranger that one percent may be you one day or that one percent may be your sister or that one percent may be your best friend so those silly comments that you make around that it's really frustrating like it shows ignorance and it shows would see you're just not reading up about stuff so read about stuff and i think that is all i have to say for today so if you like the video thumbs up to it and click on that notification bell if you haven't and yeah we'll see you guys next week i love you mwah, mwah.